They have their king. How's it doing, King? How's the banana? Yo, what's that? What is that? Is that the new rock hat mouse? It is. Where'd you get that, dude? I, I guess we have to open it. Yaho, Prof here. And we've got Mooski over there. Hello. Uh, and today, if you couldn't tell by the opening, we have a mouse from Rocket. And it's Rocket, not Rocat, from my understanding. Um, there are some other mice in the background. Uh, mostly there for comparison. But uh, they did send over um, nicely, uh, and very surprisingly out of the blue, um, their new mouse that has just come out, which is the Cone XP. Um, I was thinking of a different one they previously made, which is like the X something P. Completely different mouse. Like XMP or something? XMP, yeah, something, something like that. Something like that. Um, it was one that Squeers, if you've been to the channel before, he had. I asked him if he had it just for comparison purposes. He does not anymore have it. Because mm. it is even older than, it's like many, many. Many iterations. Old. Um, the big thing about this one is the RGB. Supposedly three-dimensional. What is three-dimensional RGB? We'll entail? be figuring that out pretty soon. Uh, one thing I will make a note of, though, is they slowly got this more and more transparent because uh, the Cone Air, Pro Air, that is just transparent up here, you know? And then this one, which was the uh, Burst Pro, was kind of semi-transparent, like, mm -hmm. all the way along it. So they've, they've been working their way to this Cone XP where, like... You know, it, uh, I saw that, and it, it looks pretty darn good in the pictures. Um, if you're going for looks for your mouse, which I'm not saying one should, but you might be, you know. It depends uh, what you're going for. Uh, the other nice thing is this does have a lot of buttons, and a lot of newer mice do not have a lot of buttons. Mm -hmm. So for somebody who doesn't mind a wired mouse... And want some buttons, this might be one to look at that doesn't have, like, your number pad on the side. Because I know a lot of people that, like, they want more buttons, but they don't want, like, 12 on the side of it. You know. So, you want to grab me a knife? Oh, and I it's, or, Did you open the butt or the top? Uh, the top. You, know, you want the butt open? Uh, that is a pro trick for you guys wondering. If there's a flap on the butt, that's the easier one to open. Oh. There's something that caught my eye Oh, there it is. There's a little QR code. Oh, oh yeah. They, yes. They want... And that's part of uh, one of the things they sent me in the reviewer's guide. Um, is you can scan that QR code. It'll let you download an, an AR app. Start on Instagram. And um, what it'll do is it'll... You can actually, like, visualize the... Uh, mouse in your setup before you buy it which is actually kind of cool um and uh it, it is one thing that they w wanted me to show if we can actually figure it out we will this thing is bright yeah yeah no i i'm actually curious to see how this is going to look let me actually plug it in all right so Taking a look at this, I can already tell you they're doing it right because they wrapped the cable around the outside of the box that I opened. I mean, that's pretty simple, too. It's still plastic, but I mean, that's not... You know some of these boxes have, like, tons of it in there? That's just one molded piece of plastic and your box. So, you know, not too bad. What's that other piece in the box? I think that's still, like, if you would have opened it the correct way, the mouse doesn't fall out. Okay. Um, oh, dude, I actually like how it looks not lit up too. Like it's like a, kind of like a frosted. Uh, it looks gray to the burst. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a little bit more transparent than that. I also did go with the black one this guy this time, guys. Uh, they offered white or the black. I think for this mouse with all the RGB, it's kind of the same reason with the with the Pro Air. 
I thought this diffused the RGB better, at least in like the previews and the renderings. Mm -hmm. I feel like the white, um, especially the white sides, it was just a little too much for me. If they would do a white top with black sides, I think that would look, you know, That's pretty a, good. A little familiar, actually. No oh, oh, the panda mouse there. Yeah. So throw some grippies on there while you're at it. Um, oh, it's actually now looking at this actually has the same same grips as the the Conan. Uh, no, the Pro Air. The Pro Air, yeah. Yeah. It's very similar, actually. Those actually look, um, well, who knew that a cone oh, would be similar to a, a cone. cone? I just realized that it's a cone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's so that? these are variations of the same shape. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, obviously there's more thumb here, there, because you have a button there. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty clicky. That's a clicky button. All right, so first off, you got your little USB protector. Get rid of that. Uh, yeah, like a nickel-plated connector um do we got do we got gold contacts yeah there's there's gold plated contacts in there that's always good um more durable for the plug and unplugging uh one thing that uh you want to see here is the little cable tie they give you um in my opinion useless and if you want to take that off you'll see why oh uh, no. yep i lost it, it that's come? gone uh razor makes the same uh, bad decision, in my opinion. I don't, don't even know where that it. went. Don't I'll worry have about to it. find it. Don't worry about it. We'll just have to make sure King doesn't eat it. Who you met earlier in the video? <laughs> oh, these side buttons are actually quite good. Um, so this has a paracord cable. Um, let me know what you feel on that guy. It's a paracorded cable. It's not super long. Yeah, I'd say it's about. It's pretty much feel the. I think it's the same as the. If you have the burst, it's like the burst. Yeah, it's like the burst pro. It's a little thicker, but this is probably worn in. That's the thing. I used the burst pro quite a bit. It was a uh, burst pro. Um, if you like that style of, uh, like an ambi shape, that's, uh, fingerprinty with a dash of palm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's good mouse. Um, yeah, pop your hands on those. I think they're fairly similar. That's actually like kind of like an intuitive button. I would wear it. I'd oh, press yeah. it when I actually do things, but. The Ergo is like good on this one, but I might, I think I'd probably tune more to this shape, honestly. It's, think... it's a lot heavier, of course. Well, um, the, I think we know it added the weight. All the buttons. Is that the same issue on the side? No. No. They fix. Try it. Like it, it's still there, but it's not as. No, it's the same. I feel like it's there, but they there's better fitment. Cause this, when you put your finger on it, it sticks out. If you guys can see that there. On this one, it doesn't nearly stick out as far. I think it does still. That's one thing, Rocket. If you want a suggestion, uh, we shouldn't be ripping on you so soon. But this lip right here, that's like underneath the mouse click, figure out how to smooth that out. Yeah. Just, just round that off just a hair. Yeah, it's definitely still there. Um, ooh, you want to feel, want to peel the feet? I can peel the feet. I attempt to at least. I think it's similar feet to the. The uh, feet are supposed to be the heat-treated PTFE glides. I'm uh, glad they didn't go with the, uh, what's the normal term, the virgin PTFE or whatever, uh, whatever. Like brands that, that mice nor or mice brands normally use. Um, it, it's Teflon, guys. The reason why they make it white is to show you that it's pure Teflon rather than, um, you know, make it colored. Ooh. This one's gonna be a little more troublesome for me. Not much for nails. Here, fine chat. Oh. Have camera. So these came off pretty easily, but trying to get that center pad on is questionable. Maybe add a tag to it, that's about it. There we go. Oh we got it. Wonderful. Uh, you always use like a small knife too. Just don't cut yourself. Yeah. Okay, so these feet look very, very, very similar to the Pro Airs. 
Um, I'd say they're a little thicker because they're darker. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, Did you? Well, I mean, you need to put a little pressure on them actually. They, they like probably lay out differently once you actually put pressure onto them. That's their all the way. And you can see where this is a little bit more ergo shaped because it's got the mouse foot here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, but very similar shape otherwise. So, um, if you want, like, if, like I said, if you want some additional, like, say you like the cone pro air shape and you want some more buttons. That'd be a reason to go with the Cone XP. Um, and what we'll have to do is run and grab my laptop. I mean, all these buttons are definitely usable. I feel like the thumb button, you, that's something that it, I think if you get used to it, will be very nice. Until you do, uh, you might be bumping it. How does the, how do the top button feel? Like the top left ones. Those feel good. Talking about... Or they're numbered plus and minus, so I'm guessing by hopefully they're not DPI by default That's because okay. those are DPI. What does this one do? It's button five. Is this, a, is this like a like silicone they wrote? Yeah, it's button. like uh, that, that'd be fine as DPI then. So these also better not be DPI. Wait, this, my finger glides over this one without pressing it. Yeah, it should. You don't want to bump the DPI button. Uh, in the past, uh. We were just looking at um, some previous mice from Rocket that might be similar, and that'd be like the Tyon and was it Leader, I think. Uh, yeah, Tyon yeah, and Leader. Tyon and Leader, and what they had up here in Rocket like to push it. Now this does not have it for people who are looking for a replacement for those. They had like a shark fin button up here that you could hit by like moving your fingers left and right, and it would toggle. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not on this one, but if you're looking for something with a similar button layout, like you know you got some more buttons on the top, some more buttons on the side. Uh, well, if you have a tie-on or a leader, this may also be an option for you. Um, I pro I think the shape, having tried those, I don't personally own them. Otherwise, we would have brought them down here. I mean, we brought some other rocket mice down here. Um, These aren't set up bad either. No. I actually like when they do the, uh, like, well, you tried the, here, I brought one non-rocket mouse down here. And that is a mouse that I think will be comparable for you guys if you have a G700 or G700S. Because it has the four side buttons. Right on top of each other. So it's kind of like you back and forward, and then another set of back and forward. Like back in the day, I would run back forward, undo, redo. Or undo, redo. Mm -hmm. You know, super handy. You could run the same thing on here. You know, so if you're used to this four side button layout, if you don't want wireless, obviously, um, that may be an option for you. Uh, and uh, I think we need to get this thing plugged in, though. Yeah, I want to say shape-wise, I like the this guy better. Yeah, I'd agree with you. The XP. I think the right side rolls off a little bit different, or you have different support. It's it's just like this. This area yeah, is it, very it, different. It, but it, I, I almost think I like the shape of the XP better than the uh, the Pro Air. They're very very similar. Yeah, I mean they're both cones, so it makes yeah. sense. You know, that's their current cone shape. Nothing bad there. Uh, why don't you hand me that laptop? Oh, and uh, you do get a second set of uh, feet, which I always like to see, and they're three unbacked. Uh, do you want me to take out of stuff? Well, I only need the laptop over here. Like, we don't actually need to. We just need it as a. Here's our power source, guys. All right. Oh, I didn't check. This is one thing I was joking with uh, Jared about uh, before we started this thing. How much power does it use? 5 volt, 500 milliamp. So you can still use it on USB 2.0. I was worried, you know, with its, uh, what is it? How many LEDs? Tw 29 function, 19 LEDs mm. and 8 light guides. You know, right there in there. I was worried that uh, it may need more power than a USB 2.0 port could uh, deliver. What is the, uh, there's like the, the black... In the top right of the box, there's like this black, yellow, Here? and red. Is that like a German? Yeah. Because they're, they're, they're German. It's a German company. Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh. Oh. Dang. Oh. Pulled so much power. And it's so majestic. Knocked the lights out, you know?
change the button presses? Yeah, I think that's a that's a shift plus one. So what shift plus does on a rocket is uh, it actually changes what your buttons do. So while you're holding this down, if you press other buttons, they do different functions. Mm -hmm. Which actually, where it is on the thumb, it kind of works close to a shift key. A lot of a lot of other mice I've seen always put that on like a, a weird awkward hit key, and you're like, how am I supposed to press that button and another button? You know. It did mention it had a four-dimensional RGB wheel. Or is it 4D? I don't know. If 4D. I, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing on my laptop right now. I should probably have uh, checked that. Oh, yeah. I'm totally adjusting, like, the task bar right now. God. Yeah, we're going to turn a different one on because that immediately washes out. Well, we've discovered some things. The plus and minus right there um, are indeed... Oh, that's dark. Uh, there you go. I get some more light. Um, the plus and minus that we thought were like, oh, if those are DPI, they are indeed the, the DPI up and down. I may or may not remap that personally because I, I don't use enough DPIs to need an up and a down. I don't know about you. No. You use an and DPI, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but then we did find out the top one is RGB modes. Uh, it's not RGB modes. Or just light yeah, like colors. Profiles. Because it switches back. Oh, okay. Yeah, it could be a profile switch, huh? Well, you know, we opened up the Rocket Swarm software, which, by the way, was very easy to download. Um... We do have to update the firmware on the mouse. We almost had another kitty show up. Gertrude was coming over, but she's being very, very precautious because of King. All right, let's get back to the mouse. We were talking about, before the camera overheated and we added more light, right on top here, that guy right there is a little, little bit squishy of a button. Um, that definitely changes profiles. Um, I personally, um, I shouldn't say I've never actually used profiles. They're right down there. You have five of them. Um, this does have onboard memory, so that, that all saves onboard. Um, some mice, I do believe, only save like the last profile you're using onboard, mm -hmm. stuff like that. The last time I used profiles, <laughs> G700, G700, because I, I used enough buttons to, and I actually remapped them. Mm -hmm. So for like games, I would have them do certain things. And uh, then on desktop, like I said, I would have undo, redo, that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So I would actually have I, my profile button is this guy right back here, which is similar placement, right? Mm -hmm. And then my DPI was this front one right there, which, hey, similar placement. So I would probably uh, remap only one of these because I only use, I use 400, 1600. I don't need an up down. Like, I just need a toggle, basically. Um, so I might remap those personally. Um, but the, for a mouse like this with more buttons, I do see profiles as actually being useful because you might actually have the mouse doing different things, you know. Um, I'm going to check to see what you can change. Everything. Oh, yeah, you're, there's like, full customization li on this. Literally everything. I will say the, the Rocket Swarm software is a bit dated looking. Um, it does work well, though. Uh, the other thing is that uh, if we can, can I, can I take it over here? Oh, Let's go over to the Rocket website. Um, which is in a different browser right here. You literally just go to uh, downloads, and then it's like, oh, you got a mouse, cool. And then you just from a drop down list select what mouse you have. Like a lot of other companies need to make their websites that easy to get the software. Like some of them, you have to go to like the product page of the mouse to get the software, which is like. Finding that a lot is like super hard. I think um, Cooler Master does yes, that. Yes, yes, and it's infuriating. <laughs> um, and Rocket, for the most part, on any other like recent ish mice, has the same software. It all goes through Swarm. I will say it's a hefty download. Um, what was it like 160 megabytes or something? That's that's pretty fat for a mouse software. Mm -hmm. It does do their other stuff like audio and keyboards and whatnot. Um, the one thing I I was slightly annoyed about was that we downloaded the latest version from the site, and it still needed to update. And I'm not talking about the firmware for the mouse. I'm just saying the software in general, even though we downloaded the latest version, 
Solid update. I can understand having to download the firmware for your specific mouse, but the fact that the latest software download on the website isn't the latest software is kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, but uh, otherwise, yeah, this... I want to see it with like a singular color mode. Okay, what do you, what do we want? Let's, 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 let's switch it to like yellow or something, or whatever color you think it would look best. Illumination. Let's, We're uh, currently see. on a wave. Let's see what other types of things they have. Okay, we have the, uh, intelligent AMO lighting system. Oh, another thing I should mention th that I was considering. Uh, I don't know if we can test because I don't have my. Well, guys, there's my desktop over there. Yeah, uh, they did want me to show the mouse in the setup. Um, I I guess I can put it. Should we just put it in the computer to? That that would basically be all the RGB a computer needs. Yeah. Um, because they did want to see the mouse in my setup right now. That's my setup, guys. That's why the video took a bit longer to get up to. Is uh, yeah, yeah, not right. Um. But, uh, uh, what I was getting at, though, is, and the reason why we would need that system, it's NVIDIA Reflex, oh, uh, compatible. That's really cool looking on the mouse, actually, is, like, there's, like, multiple colors going on. Yeah, 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 like, I can see it. it's, like, vibrating and stuff. Um, with all the lights, though, it can't see it, so. There's a lot of interest. There you go, there's just a little bit less light, and we can see some of this stuff. Yeah, it's, uh. So, a intelligent lighting system, pretty cool. Uh, one thing to watch out for, and we're not gaming right now, is just be aware some of these ones that don't just run off the mouse do consume, like, system resources. Yeah, right now, Rocket Swarm is consuming... Uh, now, we are on battery, so if we plug the laptop in, it would probably not be consuming as much, but on battery, we're at, what, 7-8% CPU. CPU usage. Um... And that is a thing. That looks, I think that looks really cool. It does. Oh, that one right there? Yeah, the pink. With the pink and the... that. Let's, let's see what we can customize on this, actually. If we go to, like, the... Um, uh, if we go to, like, the... Uh, heartbeat, breathing, blinking. What's photon f FX? Photon FX? Let's, oh, we got to click apply first, of course. Let's take a look at this. Oh, it kind of scopes up and down the ribs. That's actually pretty cool, though. This is, like, a very unique, like, RGB mouse. I'd Dude, say. if you guys have, like, a sick RGB setup... um, Consider this. <laughs> consider it, seriously. And I would actually sh say, like, it's a, it's a good shape, too. Because sometimes when we go... You know, when you go... Say you make an RGB mouse. Um, you can make a theme. Or you can actually go custom. Oh, that's so many... So many... You should show Too up. many... Too many options. There's, there's a lot I'm, of customization well, that can go yeah, on here. I'm just saying too many for me. To be truthful, I know for you... You guys that are into your RGB... You, oh, that's you super can't, pretty. You can't have too many options, right? If you're into your RGB profiles, you know... Um, I am... am I'm not one of those people. I don't mind a, a bit of good lighting. But, um... I'm, I'm one of the guys that if I'm going to use the RGB... I'm probably just going to use one of the preset modes, you know. I think that looks really nice for like what it is. The camera's probably not showing it off the best, but in person it's amazing. Did we get a weight? That's like the one thing that I, that's not in the box is the weight. Um, at least I didn't see it in the box, did you? No, I did not. I mean, it's probably nothing to uh, write home about. Phantom Flex. It's it's heavier than the, the Air, of course. No way. I I I, 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 do, I do think it's built better than the air though. Crystal so. 4D. Wait, what does it say? Left and right. Oh, they have lateral inputs. Oh, lateral you got inputs. you got tilt controls. Uh, heat treated glides. Maybe that why that's why they're darker because they're like a little darker tinge. You know. Just a, just a text box. You can pick it. This one up. Yeah, Nvidia Reflex compatible. If I if I had my uh my computer working with the 3080 Ti and there were and I because I do have a G Sync monitor, we could actually test. Um, I don't have the G-Sync Premium, so I wouldn't have... Because with the Premium, you can get the, the tech specs on the screen. Let's see what we got. Nope. Dimension. There it is. 104 grams. So it, it's... It's a mouse. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say... Because, like, think about it. Uh, an original uh, G... 
uh, 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 not G. Wait, what's the thing? 502. It's like 125 without any weights. So 104. That's that's within reason. Like I I wouldn't like it's heavy. Like I, I'm not gonna say heavy. Like oh, it's like unreasonably heavy. But no, no, like like it has some weight to it. But it doesn't feel like like the G502 because it's a smaller mouse than this feels like a brick. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? Like this is a slightly bigger mouse. Like I would consider this medium large. Like not large, but like you know medium to large size, kind of like Death Adder size, mm -hmm. a little bit smaller than Death Adder. Curve is a little bit curved in a different way. Um, and, uh, so I wouldn't consider, like, 104, especially with, like, all that RGB tech in there. Like, that's not bad. Um, mice not, like I said, even G502, which came out, uh, plenty of years ago now. But when that came out, like, it was not uncommon for mice to be 125 grams. You know, like, even 100 grams back then. Uh, if you're running, 100 grams used to be so wanted as a weight that when Cooler Master came out with some of their newer mice... They purposely weighted them to 100 grams and added weight to do it. And the later revisions of it, they removed the weight. And if you did remove the weight yourself in the previous one, they would send you feet. But that's how much, like, people used to aim for 100. Like, that was considered, like, this is pretty close. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, so let me check my documentation here, because there are a couple things that uh, Rocket wanted me to go over with you. So... Iconic shape with multi-button design. We kind of already covered that. And, uh, and yes, this is a little a little uh, stuff from Rocket, guys. And that's understandable. They sent me the mouse for free. I got no problem covering a couple things that they want to go over. Um, they didn't sponsor the video or anything. You know, they're not telling me, oh, to tell you, the mouse is great. Um, uh, they just wanted to go over you know, a couple features of the mouse. Well, we're trying this stuff out because you can apparently apply each individual gradient to each of the ribs in there. I can show this in the app. So I was kind of messing around with it a little bit, but there's like a whole, like, you can do the solid section, which is kind of boring, but you can actually customize like the whole gradient and change how they look and how dark they are. Just as I'm explaining it, but you can So you, you got control. lots of control. Yeah. Um, it's kind of crazy, actually. Kind of even hard to show because there's so many different colors there, and that's obviously for shift. You can customize that in uh, the software as well. Um, oh, we we do another one out here for you. We got the Cone Pro Air to show you comparatively how uh, lame by comparison its RGB is. Um, there you go. It's got uh, two fingies right there. You know, um, so if you, if you like your RGB, step it up to the Cone Pro XP. And I just did something and broke the thing. All right. So the other things we got the iconic shape. We, we got to talk about the 4D wheel. Yep, yep. Le left vertical and traditional. So basically, it does RGB, and actually, diff oh, that's not thing. It diffuses through the rubber. See that? Yeah. That's kind of cool. Um, and then it does do left click. Or side scrolling, mm -hmm. you know. So in game you can set that to whatever. Otherwise, if you're if you're doing your, okay, this is also why I thought it might be a good thing for the G seven hundred S because it also had the side the side scroll as well. So this could be a very good productivity mouse and not just a good gaming mouse. That's where these extra buttons might come in handy. I have so many mice plugged in right now. Uh, do we, here, let's let's unplug this one. You want to turn it off and then let's plug in the uh... cone pro. Cone oh, not the burst pro. Burst pro. Oh, my bad. The one thing I, I I would like to get my hands on a just a burst or was it burst core or something, just to see if the if the build is as good. You know what I mean. But um, okay, so we got Titan optical switches. These felt the these build felt quality good. is significantly better than the cone. Yeah. Air. Uh, like uh, one of our biggest complaints about the the pro air is the build quality uh it might have the the hottest tech on the planet in there but it, it doesn't feel like it at all in my opinion so yeah here's the pro air so the clip the clicks feel better the well and another thing 
they they manage to make the clicks just click the click whereas on this one you move a big piece like the shroud for the leds you move up and down so it makes the click like like more hollow feeling mm -hmm. you know because you have this whole like it it just it's an upgrade overall yeah and it just feels these things feel snappy um let's look at okay so the pro air four clicks has Titan optical switches, so it has the same switches. And for being the same, here, this is on the Cone Pro Air, for being the same switch, this XP feels like a lot better for being the same switch. Um, and then we have the Burst Pro, which I don't know what this one uses. Let's find out here. Also the Titan. Also the Titan optical switch, which... Feels great. Oh, so good. See, it's they a little, different. it's a little tighter. Yeah, I think there's, there's more stuff inside of here. Like this one's pretty light, so it, it it's a little bit more hollow sounding, so it can reverberate in the mouse more. You know, like there's just. But then you listen to the pro air here. Just even sounds a bit laggy. I feel to you when it clicks. Yeah. It's not laggy, guys. It it just I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't hundred million clicks. It's because it's optical, guys. That's a that's a that's a lot of clicks. You know. What else do we gotta talk about? Now? Uh, we gotta update my my Burst Pro mouse. That's not part of the the guide, guys. Um, what other features are we looking at today? Right here. All right, so 3D RGB, we already mentioned that before. Uh, with the eight light guides, uh, we call them uh, ribs. But they you know. look like ribs. You yeah, know. yeah, no, I, I, I would call them ribs too. Uh, but, you know, technical term for Rocket here is light guides. Uh, don't forget that you missed the uh, owl eye optical sensor. Um, it's just a, apparently 19,000 DPI sensor. Um, guys, if you're using over 1600, hit me up in the comments. Let me know why. I would love to know. And I, I use 1600 on the desktop with multiple 4K monitors. And Squeers didn't see a reason to go above 400 till he sat down there. And he's like, or he sat down over there with the 4K. We had 400. And he's like, yeah, I could see why you might want more than 400 DPI for yeah. a, even a single 4, 4K. But like, if you're using more than maybe 3200 on desktop, but if you're using higher than 1600 in game, hit me up down below in the comments. So one other thing, not not mentioned by them, but uh, I mean not, not that they wouldn't say they had a good scroll wheel, but I think this thing has a real good scroll wheel. Um, I don't know. This one feels very solid because it's very wide, but compared to the Burst Pro, it, uh, in my opinion at least, uh, Jared likes a little bit looser scroll wheel. I think uh, the Cone XP has a very chunky, solid. Um, scroll wheel reminded me as he brought up compared to the um, cane. This is, this is only the uh, one, 102, uh, the Panda edition, one of my favorite mice actually, with its uh, stippled side grips. Mm -hmm. uh, and it looks like a panda. I really wish they would add these to other mice, personally. Like, you know, imagine like a burst like that, like a burst core, but it had stippled grips. No. Yeah, it, it, the grips aren't bad on the burst at all, I'd say, but this, like, the scroll wheel on this is yeah. pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except you got side scroll on this one. You know? They feel very similar. Uh, very good, in my opinion. Like, it just feels, this feels like a solid mouse. You know what I mean? Like, as long as you don't mind, like I said, 104 gram, I don't think that's horrible. Especially with the extra features you're getting and the RG bizzles. Uh, Amo illumination, that was really cool, actually. We went over that already. Um, syncs with other compatible products, um, flows from, oh, it'll flow from device to device. So if we had other, it would like the RGB would go, woo, and then go to the mouse, like all across the keyboard. And That's the crazy. Um, and it looked really cool when we had it on. Um, with it off, uh, we're no longer using 8% of our CPU, uh, which is great. We're using zero. So do be aware, it does seem to chew up 
some CPU. Uh, another side note, if you do get the mouse and you don't like the RGB right away, you can hold that button and press that. The shift button. Oh. There you go. Turns and it off. Turns it either. off. Or if you're like, or if you like sleeping in in your room with your computer, you know, that that might be a nice, a nice thing. Or a dorm room. You know, like a lot of people, if they're in a dorm room, probably sleeping with their computers next to them. Uh, Phantom Flex cable. Yeah, paracord. I wouldn't say it's the most paracordy paracord cable this is that I've ever seen. Have. Uh, the, the cordless one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not saying this is a bad cable by any means. Um, I personally don't necessarily like the, like, I would even just take a thin rubber cable. I know that's not a premium product then, but I feel like that's just as good as this. That's a personal thing. Heat treated PTFE. Definitely. They, uh, real smooth. And we're just using it on like a, what a laminate fake wood cart. You know? So. Not bad. Not bad. Feels like a very solid mouse, yeah. So if you if you like the the Pro Air shape, but want some more features, or if it feels a little chintzy to you, I feel like the G700s as well. Yeah, if you want more of a productivity mouse because of all these extra buttons, um, say you want your undo redo, or like up until recently, Photoshop used uh, wasn't it Control Shift Z for undo and not just Control Z, if I recall correctly. Control Z. Or control alt. Currently, it's to go back. There's like a if you control Z, it goes back, and if you do control Z again, it goes back to forward. It I thought they undid that now, though. Not what I have used, because you have to do control alt Z to go back, and then control alt Z to go back again. Okay, but that that explain you know, like, but I know people that then would make their like this would be Photoshop undo button, mm -hmm. not just control Z, because they don't want to have to remember. This would absolutely be great, especially with that like plus button. Yeah. That is wonderful. Yeah, and then, remember, you hold this down, or really, technically, you can bind that to anything. I mean, I still think this being where it is, like, you can easily hold this down and click another button. Mm. And also, you can even remap your main clicks. So, say if you want to do, like, or you can make this shift, too. So, if you want to, because then you could shift and then right-click and get your brush sizes. A bunch of different stuff. I should kind of want to see what the button assignment has for that. Be 14 in this case. Yep. It's just Easy Shift Plus. It's called the Easy Shift Plus. Yeah, and then you have to go to the Easy Shift Plus menu, and then it'll. G? Yeah, it's on this side. That's Easy Shift. If you scroll up, oh. see Easy Shift Plus. So yeah, like, you, you just remap every button. You can show that. Like... So basically, on the left is your normal, and then your right is your Easy Shift Plus. So when you hold down the button, that's what it does. And you can just remap any of the buttons to do, you know, different things. And you can even remap the main clicks. Which is, especially with this location, that gives you two functions that you can easily do. Just moving your, just thumb moving your thumb slider. Yeah. Which is, you know, awesome. This is a very impressive mouse overall. Yeah. Um, it, you will, this is not a mouse, in my opinion, that you're going to run without running the software. Um, Burst Pro. Program it once. Done. In my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um... Set your RGB color and go. Because it's your standard five button headshot clicker. Yeah. Headshot remote. Um, otherwise, yeah. This, this, uh, I was, I'm happy to see what I'm seeing. Because, um, I, I would even have to dig up what my original tweet was. But I was like, ooh. Looks pretty. Um, you guys do get, if you do want to pre-order this, or pre-order or order it through Rocket, um, you get 10% off. The the code, which also will tell them you came from me, which would be a, appreciative. I get nothing from the code, except you guys get your 10% off, uh, is G10 dash the underscore tech underscore exchange. All caps. You can put that in the description, of course, right? Yeah, we can put it in the description. There it is on screen before the battery runs out. Well, guys, we're going to leave you with King purring his little cat brain out here. And uh, you guys should, uh, you know, check out any other videos you see on this mouse. Um, if you have any questions, uh, please throw it down below. Um, 
as soon as I can get this on a system in gaming, um, being that the shape is very similar in hand, it feels better than uh, the Pro Air. Uh, we both know how it's going to perform, essentially. Um, it, I think possibly better, in my opinion, for me at least, than the Pro Air. Um, but as soon as I can actually get it up and running, you know, you know, once there are guts in that computer over there, I will. I'll give NVIDIA Reflex a try uh, with my G-Sync monitor. And uh, if you have questions, please throw them down in the comments below. Um, as always, uh, I'm Prophecist. You can find us at uh, Tech Exchange The on Twitter, um, Instagram, you know, all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, just the Tech Exchange on YouTube. We finally got that one. Um, and uh, keep an eye out for, uh, I don't know if we're doing, it's like Mad Mouse Minute Mania, that sort of stuff may shift over to another channel. So you may see stuff about that happening. Uh, we do have the separate uh, Pokemon Polls channel where we just chill and do some Pokemon Polls. There's our cat. I'm getting comfy. Let's take more around. <laughs>